Hello all, Jeff here with a new video back on Gran Turismo Sport with some more FIA action. This time in the Manufacturer Series Group 4 at Tokyo Expressway South Outer Loop. Now for the Manufacturer Series I decided to go with Aston Martin again. Just may as well give it a shot. And the first race I ended up qualifying fourth which is not bad at all. I didn't expect that at all. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens here. So here we go. We are going with fourth position in a blue Aston Martin this time around. Interesting. There's Kyle Busch in P13, so let's try and stay away from him. Should stick to NASCAR, but anyway, here we go. So, you know, um, we'll just have to wait and see how it all pans out. You know, this layout of Togo Expressway I actually like. Like, there's a few that I don't like, like the really... Really tiny one where you always see daily races with the small cars. I don't like that one, but um, this one I actually like because you know there's you know of course there's a huge room for error, but I feel the you know it's not as hard to not as easy to make a mistake compared to the other layouts. That's just me though. But here we go. So we're going down this back straightaway into the hairpin. I'm going to break as hard as I possibly can at the hundred board. I take a completely different line to the BMW, bang, I've punted him off. <laughs> that was just a case of both of us taking a completely different line to the hairpin, and somehow I did not cop a penalty for that. I should have, but I didn't. I don't know why, but that was an absolute savage punt from myself, and for some reason I got away with it. That, you know... Oh, I was definitely in the wrong there. I, sh I don't know why I didn't get a penalty, but whatever. Let's move on. I'm in P3, so I'm right up there, which is a great, which is a really good result here. So in the, on the straightaway, just saving fuel. For those that don't know, this was a no-stop. The prefer preferred strategy was a no-stopper here, so that's what I planned on doing right now. So here we go in this really tight, quick chicane. You know. Abuse that yellow curve on the first part, not on the second part though, or, or you'll get a penalty. But yeah, that's how it works. And but P1 has copped a penalty. He's obviously cut the chicane, so Max Mayhem in his Aston is going to be right up there for the lead. And we've got a Jagger right behind me. He's obviously not saving as much fuel as I am at this point, but we have to wait and see what happens. So here we go into turn one. What's going to happen here? Oh, there's been a contact between me and the Jag. Then, you know, it's going to be on. And I, for some reason, I've copped a two-second penalty for that. What? It's just... I don't know. Because I, he was the one that gave me the contact. I got absolutely momosed there. Let's be honest. That's that's a dirty tactic Momos normally does. Look, he I could tell he didn't mean that. But that two-second penalty, who knows what could have happened with me for the rest of the race. Because, you know... We've got the leader is about to serve the penalty. Max Mayhem, he'll be right up there. He'll, he'll, he'll pass the leader at the penalty zone. Whereas me, I could have been right up there as well for at least second. But now I have to serve this penalty. And I'm going to drop all the way back to seventh. And of course, everyone else has got more speed. So, you know, there goes eighth. There goes ninth. So, yeah, it's you know it's kind of killed my race in a way, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going, see what we can do. I'm gonna, still gonna stick with the no stop strategy just because, well, if these guys one stop, then I'll be back in this. But anyway, what can you do? So from third to ninth, which is disappointing indeed, but um, you know sometimes you just have to fight back, which I plan on doing at this stage. So here we go into the chicane, just on that red and yellow curbing is fine. If you go over that, and then, then that's a penalty. But anyway, as you can see, I'm, I'm catching up to these guys, and um, this is GDR. He's had a bit of a moment through the last corner because he's been passed by two cars just like that. So, you know, I could be back into eighth position. Oh, I had a huge run on him there, but you know what, there's no point. It's not really a passing zone here, as you saw before. I don't, I didn't want to give myself or him a penalty, so you know, um, what, what can you do? But anyway, what? So up the ninth. Well, yeah, still in ninth, I was just say. But as we skip the lap three, or further on lap three, there's a fair bit battle going on in front of us. So we've got six, seven, no, fifth, six, seven, eight. So there's four cars here. Like as we go into the tight chicane. 
there's no way you're going to make a move. But the Viper is thinking, thinking, oh, yeah, I might as well give this a crack. Gives the, gives the GDR a tap. And I'm going to go around the outside, if you don't mind. Up to eighth position we go. And one of the guys in front has got a penalty. Whether that was a punt or a corner cut, I couldn't tell. But, you know... I'm, you know, we're still in this for a reasonable result, but we'll just have to wait and see what that is. So, you know, these guys are going to keep fighting. Oh, oh, and I just smashed into the wall and I've given myself a one second penalty. Oh, it's just. It can be so, so unforgiving, these walls, not just to, you know, kill your speed, but also to give you penalties. And that's one thing at Tokyo Expressway that, that kills you. If you smack in the wall hard enough, hard enough, bang, you got a penalty. So back to ninth. But well, I'm going to stay ninth because there's no point passing the Corvette. Think about it. I've got a penalty. So, yeah. Not the best start, to be honest, at, from a 17 lap race. So I'm going to try and get by the, behind the Corvette as much as I can. And there we go. We serve the penalty down to 10th. And the Mustang's coming, and that's probably going to be 11th place as well. Yes, it is. So, yeah. A few pen penalties, can, penalties can kill you sometimes. But if we go to the start of lap 5, I've got a run on the Mustang here. All sorts of weird decals going on. They've got the 90s BP logos. They've got the Aldi logo on this car for some reason. Must love that. Must love a cheap supermarket, that bloke. But anyway, um, back up the 10th. So, yeah. Well, it, you just have, I'm just going to try and fight and fight and fight and see if I can get a half decent result out of this. So, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, what could have been a podium position looks like at this stage. Well, all those chances, those chances are completely gone. But anyway, what can you do? So, ninth place. We just have to wait and see if I can make some ground. So, here we go. Into lap seven. Um, right up behind the Corvette now, so he's gone a bit wide through there, so, you know, plus this is a very long bunch of sweeping corners that are flat out, so I'm going to have the slipstream on the Corvette. Now, the tyres I'm using, I've got hards on the front and mediums on the rear, um, because it's a front engine car, of course the front's going to wear out a lot more than the rears, as we easily get by the Corvette, I thought to myself, I may as well just do this strategy because, you know, you need to use both compounds of tyre. And no stop is the ideal strategy. So that's what I was thinking. Try and save my front tyres if as, as best as best as I can. As we go to the lap 9, um, so we break hard into this hairpin. And one of the guys in front is going to pit. So he obviously didn't get the memo that this is a no stop race. So up to 7th we go. But yeah, we just have to wait and see how many people actually stop. They may not realise about the tyre split. And there we go. Someone else in the pits, third place. So, and another one as well. So, you know, they, they must want good tyres at the end. But I'm going to jump up to sixth place just like that because of a few guys are pitting, you know. You know, it's, it's a good result for me, at least. I mean, I didn't expect this. Second place is going to pit. So, yeah, some people are thinking going the no-stop strategy and going as hard as they possibly can using full reps. So, up the fourth we go. Where we started. Didn't think we would end up back to fourth place where we started after those few penalties. But there you go. Um, that's what happens when you do the preferred strategy and others don't have a clue. So, as we skip the lap 12, um, I sh we'll just try and figure out what's going on here. I think there's a car right behind me, so we're going to be on a lookout for that as we go to the chicane. Abuse the first bit, not the second bit. Stay on the red and white, which is fine. And this last corner is flat out most of the time. Slight lift. Yeah, there's, there's, there's someone. The Lamborghini is right up behind me, so I'm going to have to be on the left lookout for him. He's obviously stopped. And plus, the Lamborghini Huracan is a better car in Group 4 compared to the Yasser Martin. In most tracks, anyway. So, the Lambo just easily gets by me. So, I'm back down to 5th place. But what can you do? Better tyres. Probably better car as well. So, you know, not much we could do there. So, you know, 5 laps to go. It's a reasonable comeback, let's be honest. But, um, as we go to the end of lap 15. So, still in 5th place. But, um... 
we got someone else, you know, with a lot, lot better tire life, obviously stopped, so we just have to be on the lookout for him as we start lap 16, two laps to go, as you can see, my tires, they're starting to go. It's starting to go a lot, and it's a um, it's another Aston Martin, so it definitely stops from that point of view. To be honest, if I had mediums on the front and hards on the rear, well, I reckon my race would have been done. To be honest, because you know, there's you know there's not many corners you can spin out. Obviously, the hairpins one, but yeah. So we've got that Aston behind me. I thought to myself at this stage, there's no point fighting this. However, I do have the inside. But I just know he's going to get a much better launch, and I actually got loose there too. So down to fifth, down to sixth place. But remember, having those few penalties just to be back at fourth at one stage, I didn't think it was going to happen. So you know what? What can you do? It's it's a nice little comeback after um, an unfortunate turn of events, but. Um, you never know, these two, the Viper and the Aston, they could be fat, they could fight at the end of the race, and that, you know, if there's penalties applied to any of those two cars, I could gain a position just like that, so we'll just have to wait and see, but um, I'm still there, and the Viper, I feel, he's probably done a no-stop strategy as well, and he, he, he seems to be struggling a lot more than me, the Aston has given the Viper a shove, uh, so the Viper's been given a slight little boost, but um, the Aston's going to get the slipstream here, so he might think about making the move at turn one. Let's see if it happens. The thing is, he's got the entire lap to make to make a move on the Viper. Final lap we go. So, is he going to make a move on the Viper? He's actually on the inside, and he's giving him a tap, another tap, and the Viper's in the wall, and the Aston has got himself a penalty. Four seconds worth, so I'm going to be back into at least fifth place after once he serves the penalty. Um, and plus the Viper, I feel his tyres are a lot worse off than mine, so I could end up back in the fourth place before the end of this one. So, what a turn of events that is. So, we break hard. Oh, he's actually made it very easy for me, to be honest. So, up the fifth. And now, we have the Aston, who is about to serve his four-second penalty. So, I'm going to go back up the fourth place. I did not think this was going to happen at all. You know, you had a few costly penalties. You know, first off, I punted someone at the hairpin, didn't get a penalty. Then I got given a shove and got a penalty. So, you know, it hasn't worked out well for me. Then I got another penalty for glazing the wall. While I started fourth, after those penalties, I did not think I'd get back up the fourth place. So, it's a, you know... To be honest, you know, fought hard, hard as I possibly could, and somehow, fourth place, yeah, it's not a podium place, but to be honest, if I didn't have these penalties, I probably would have been battling for the win, but you know what, after all that, I'm going to take this, take this result, because, you know, it just shows that you just don't give up in, in, in dire situations. So here we go, crossing the line, just enough fuel to get to the end, and yeah, fourth place. And Max Mayhem in the other Aston ended up winning it. So well done to him. So here is confirmation of the fourth place. So not bad at all. The Marshall Marshall's loving my work there. He can see that I was battling really, really hard there. So, you know, I'll definitely take that after what happened at the start. But I decided to do another race, so here was my best qualifying lap, so here we go, into the last corner, flat out, the GDR got himself a penalty, will he, will he back off to let me through, yes he does, so I've got a bit of a slipstream which would definitely help me here, but we'll just have to wait and see what kind of time I can do, so you know, this was the only, this was my best qualifying lap and it was the, be the first one I did in the 10 minute session, so I'm going to need to improve that if I'm going to keep doing these FIA races is just to, you know, try and improve on my first flying lap. Because, you know, your first flying lap is not going to be... It's not going to really get you up to the front considering the fuel is going to... You're going to, you know, burn a lot of fuel. So anyway, here we go. Into the tight hairpin. Don't have to worry about punting anyone this time around. So that's a good thing. However, we do have these two cars in front. So... If I can get the slipstream from them, 
that well that's gonna help me out it's gonna help me out in a huge way so we'll just have to wait and see if, if they battle it out something you don't want to do in qualifying but am I close enough for the slip stream? I might be getting some kind of slip stream, so it's definitely going to help. And you know, I, you know, for some reason I didn't feel like I was getting the most out of the car. Maybe I wasn't burning enough fuel before I did my flying laps. But what can you do? Yeah, these two are fighting in front of me, so you know, um, we just have to wait and see if they punt each other off or whatever happens. But we're going to this tight chicane. How do I take it? Oh, very nice, very, very nice. On the verge of penalty, penalty central, but luckily it was clean still. So here we go, gang slipstream again, which is really going to help me here. So and it will end up being a 139.4. To be fair, I was the first to do, do a flying lap there, but as you can see, um, that was the end, and I would end up starting third place. So that is a very good result but we're going to start this race there I am in third place in a blue Aston Martin here we go countdown is on and we're off so third place let's see what we can do with this now Rosmo is in fifth place the guy I punted by mistake in the previous race so we'll have to be on the lookout for him but um, you know he does have a car, car in front of him so you know you know that's going to give me a bit of a bit of a safety net in that sense but um we'll just have to wait and see and I'm right up there with first and second so you never know what's going to happen especially after the hairpin with that long with that long straightaway in the quick corners you just have to wait and see um how we go but anyway we go into the hairpin breaking it hard as we possibly can and here we go here we go and both been given the punt by the BMW there's a revenge punt! <laughs> oh no! Down to eighth we go. This time around, the BM has been given a penalty. Something I should have been given the previous race. So, and because of where he copped the penalty, he's going to have to serve it on the next lap. So, oh. Yeah. And looking at this footage now, I really should have copped the penalty. Um, in the first race, but anyway, and we've got Max Mayhem right behind me now as well, so he's also, he also had a shocker of a qualifying session, as myself and the Jag, we're just, you know, there's a playing bit of bumper cars right now, there's no, oh, I've actually made the move through the chicane, that's actually a very brave move from myself, but anyway, so still in eighth place, should be in third or at least second, but what can you do, Rosmo, with his penalty, thanks for punting me off, um, you know, <laughs> it just it feels un so unfair that um, I, I didn't get a penalty. But anyway, so it looks like it's a four second penalty as well. So, anyway, oh, not the best of results, eh? And Rosmo is just all over the joint. He's obviously um, feeling the pressure from the Mazda 6 behind him. But, um, yeah, didn't expect, expect this to, to pan out like it did because it. You know, I had a car between myself and Rosmo and still managed to pump me off. But anyway, what can you do? So we go on to lap two, breaking hard into the hairpin. Here we go. Oh, slight bit of contact. But, um, you know, Rosmo's about to serve his penalty, so I'll be up to seventh after this. So here we go. He's about to serve the penalty right about now. There we go. So he's gone. But <laughs> to be fair, I probably would have you know, happily had the penalty instead of getting given a penalty by someone whacking me the next lap. But here we go. Mazda Atenza, oh, I've been just giving him a slight push. There was no way for me to go around the outside and make the move stick. But anyway, seventh place it is. But, um, yeah. It was just a case of what if. But third place is still there. So, you know, if, if everything plan, pans out, then I might still be able to get back into the position I started in. That's really nicely taken through a chicane, by the way. But, yeah. <laughs> um, so, we'll just have to wait and see what happens here. As we're about to finish lap 2 of 17. Um, you know, still up there with his 
battle for third place. So, you know, if there's a bit of contact, people get penalties, people might get spun around. Well, you see how easy, how easy that can happen to someone um, like me and Mosmo. Rosmo, sorry. But um, we'll just have to wait and see um, what happens here because fourth, fifth, and sixth are right there. I'll oh, just give them the wall a slight glaze. No penalty this time, luckily, because it's the inside. But um, we're, we're going to take the. Um, the slow in, fast out approach to this hairpin. So here we go, braking nice and hard, taking the late apex with a hairpin. But Corey Max I mean, get, has given me a whack whether it's because of the contact from lap one before. I don't know, but I've been punted again. And I've just done a nice 720, and I'm down to 18th position out of 19. Oh. This race has gone from bad to worse. I'm right down the back of the grid after what could have been, what could have ended up being a very good result. It's most likely going to be a very poor result as we've got someone behind me, last place. He's about to hound me for this position. So he's right there as well in a Mercedes SLS. So is he going to make the move stick? Or well, he's actually made it done. So. Third to last. Although it's not really going to last because I'm going to grab that spot back off him at the chicane. Or does it happen? Oh, it does. Well, nice and forceful there. But anyway, um, yeah, that was very poor, wasn't it? On lap six, I'd catch up to this little pack here. Someone's got a penalty, so up to 15th now. And, and then later on, I felt like I had a run on the Mercedes and um, Macozzi, so I was going to and I was just brake way too hard and I was giving him a tap, I was just back out of it to make sure I don't you know, make contact with him again but um, Mad Max and this Mazda, well he's pitted but um, he's going to serve a penalty very soon so yeah, 14th place could have been, th well 13th now, could have been 12th but um, what can you do and then lap 8 thinking, well you know my race is pretty much done, let's just do a one stopper and see how much ground I can make it for the rest of the race so getting on the hards um, seeing what what the LSM boys can do for me in regards to oh yeah, and, I, and I decided to fill up as well so I could just you know go as hard as I possibly can back down to second last but anyway but with people pitting I'd end up in 14th place looking like I'd you know down the track would get Oh, thanks, 12, but I've got a penalty and so is the BMW in front. So, oh, this this race, um, and that's Mosmo as well, so I'm just going to make sure that we don't contact each other, but he ends up hitting anyway, so I don't have to bother worrying about him, hopefully. But um, we are about to serve this penalty. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh... Well, you know, I had penalties before and I still manage a good result. I'll just get one penalty here, get punted, and yeah, back down to 15th place, which is an absolute shame. So, with some pen penalties that other guys have served, I'm back up to 13th place. But, um, you know, I just wanted to see if I can make as many positions that I possibly go could go as hard as I possibly could. But again, I'm going to smack the fence. Didn't get a penalty straight away. But I ended up getting a penalty there. And the Ferrari behind me has copped the penalty. And I think it was for the exact same thing as well. So it looks like... Oh, bit of contact between me and the Ferrari. So it looks like myself and the Ferrari are going to battle it out. Have a nice little battle for the minor placings. It would have been great if it was for the lead or ran about the front, but unfortunately, um, it's going to be no good. And the Aston looked, I oh, got a much better launch out of the penalty zone than the Ferrari did, so I've got a bit of a gap now. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So, we're about to, oh, it's got a bit wide there. I don't know how I didn't cop a penalty for that. I don't know why um, the video's blurring. Oh, I did cut the track, so I've copped the penalty. So the guy in the GDR is just going to get by me, you know, much better straight line speed, fair enough. So, yeah, we're about to start the last lap in what has turned out to be an absolutely abysmal race for myself. So, anyway, 
Oh, the GDR's got smacked the wall there, so, you know, you know, it's um, been one of those days where you just never know what's going to happen, and for myself, it's, it's you know, it's been, this race has been absolute nightmare, whereas the race previously, yeah, there were nightmares, but um, I managed to, <laughs> to get a good result out of it, but anyway, breaking under hairpin, I've just gone in way too hard, and the yellow Ferrari, he just didn't see me coming. That you know, that was unintentional. What he did, that was just a slight bit of un, unintended contact, and he's copped himself a two-second penalty. Oh, that's so stiff from him. And and because of where, oh, a bit of contact. I didn't mean that, Corvette, but um, you know, the Fer because where the Ferrari cop the penalty, he can't serve it at all. I'm just going to let his Corvette go by because I felt bad about blocking him. So the Ferrari, he's right up there now behind me, but, you know, keep in mind, he can't serve his two-second penalty, so um, he's going to have the two seconds to add to his race time, which is the penalty, as well as another second for not being able to serve it. And we've got this Porsche behind me, so it's a battle for last. The Porsche has given me a shove. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, so I apologise, Mad Max, if you, if you are watching this. I should have got a penalty for that. I don't know why I didn't, but um, maybe I was just too tired doing this race. Um, so, yeah, look, if there was any bad driving from me, or if you ever see bad driving from me, just just know, you know that I will apologise. You know, all this stuff is not intended, but anyway... That's FIA for you, so if you like the video, smash the thumbs up button, leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking. If you want to see more, subscribe and tap the notification icon. Anyway, this is Jeff here, and happy racing. Cheers.